Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to LA Noir. Last time, what is Jack? Kelso. And a house of sticks to cover more illusion problems. Let's see what happens today. Satchel charges on the cave entrance from above. Covering fire on weapons team. Look for snipers in the trees. You know the drill. No risks, no heroes, no prisoners. You want some roast on this one, Sarge? No, you guys have done enough. Head back to Webs. We are going to blow every cave we come across. Close them down and move on, people. Damn. I was hoping to get me a samurai sword. Skipper says that Phelps has fallen behind again. He's got his fire team's checking every cave. He's lost another flamethrower. He wants you to get over there and hurry them along. Hogue Boom. Weapons Company. Sir. Sir. We have a major cave complex in front of us, Hogue Boom. I want flamethrowers and VAR teams to clean it out. Begging your pardon, sir. But if it's a big complex, why don't we bring the Shermans in? They could pour it in there. We can't wait for tanks to be brought up. I'm already behind. Then blow the cave. No skin off our nose. Bury them we in We are it. going in there and clearing them out. We are doing it by the numbers, Sergeant. Get your team in place. We're moving out. Mount up. First fire team and flamethrowers. Head in. Plan. Where's he going? Where's who going? The big cowboy. He's going in. Who gave that order? You did. I did? <laughs> we're gonna have a polite invitation. Like last episode, we were gonna play as Jack Kelso yet again. We're at a medical clinic. That's interesting. Elsa's here. We like Elsa. I think we do anyway. Well, Miss Lichtman, how long have you been sitting there? Not long, Mr. Kelso. You look lovely, Princess. You haven't exactly caught me at my best. I'm a big boy. Mm. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Cole needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for RKO, Warner Brothers. Is that carpenter? Perfect. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join in. It's making my head hurt. That's perfectly understandable, Mr. Jack. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. I hope so too, Princess. I'd like that. <laughs> Everybody always takes a look. You Kelso? Who's asking? Peterson, assistant DA. Is he turning? You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about- There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First, they send you over a drink. Then they buy you dinner. Then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm going to run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get 150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's going to get me elected. 
I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? Do you think I fell down the stairs? Hmm. I like this assistant DA guy. He sounds very legit. Hopefully, anyway. Alright. Curtis Benson. Thanks for the patch up, Princess. Might be the only R and R I get for some time. Um, oh there's the stairs. Gosh, I'm blind. Alright, let's see how bad this is gonna be. So we have to go to Curtis Benson's place. Do we even know where that's at? We're go he wants to go up to Vice, which I do like. But we're gonna have to leave him in Monroe first. We'll heck, we'll probably get them all. That's the goal is to get everybody, because we know Roy's in onto it. Alright. For a man who owns an insurance company, how does he live in a, a big apartment? That's not an apartment. I guess it is. Why does a man like that live in an apartment instead of a house? Alright, Benson's in two. That's first. Usually we have to go upstairs. You know, the second I say that, I didn't think about that. I have to literally go up a set of stairs. Just my luck. Remember me? Jack. It's good to see you. You've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Oh. Move away from the door. Jack, there's no call for that. Yes, there is. Smooth, Curtis. I'll give you that. Try to get me killed, and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up, or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. I don't want to be here. Who do you think you are? Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> Wrecked. Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. Poor dude. To get all of the stockholders, I need to follow the paper trail. Oh, come on. Huh. What the? What? What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? What am I supposed to do? Okay. I already have it, then that's weird. Anything I can to use against you, good sir. Oh, free. Frog. I knew you were in bed with a lesion, Curtis. Jack, I know you made why. a terrible mistake. Get out while you can. I don't wanna. It's behind door number one here. Okay, I lied. We can't go behind door number one. It's behind this door. This is going. Oh my freaking gosh! How old kid. are you, princess? Sixteen. This day. How old are you really? Nearly 13. What? You take love where you can find it as you get older. Love? That has nothing to do with love, Curtis. So I find your romantic notions endearing, Jack. I find Please them hit very him again. tiring. Please hit him again. You're finished, Curtis. That remains to be seen, Jack. I haven't told you about my new job, Curtis. DA's investigator. Who do you think the DA reports to, Jack? Please get her out. Get dressed. You're getting out of here. He's not so bad. He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. He's kind. And he buys me nice things. Get dressed. You're leaving. 
sick. She will only come back. Let's talk. Let's be real. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. Actually, I ain't... That's the only truth you're gonna get out of him. I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. Accuse. You're lying, Curtis. Something happened at the company, didn't it? That's why you took the bribe. Bribe? What bribe? How can you accuse me of benefiting ahead of the company? Because the share certificates, sir. I noticed that the share certificates are in your name, Curtis, not the company's. What did you use as collateral? Those sons of bitches in Sacramento. They passed me over for president. Sent me here because they believed it was a backwater. But they were wrong. Los Angeles will become the capital of the West, not San Francisco. This place will be the city of the 20th century. And I'm going to get my cut, Jack. You're going to jail, Curtis. You and your cronies. We'll see about that, Jack. Just kill him. Just make things easier. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. But what about this insurance? You're lying, Curtis. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? I mean, how about the insurance agreement we just talked about? Rancho Escondido burnt to the ground. California Fire and Life is carrying the paper. Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement cost. The stakes are much, much higher. Do let the case settlement. Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lichtman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? Bad cop. Give me what I need or I'll beat it out of you. <laughs> it's all there in the case file. If you know what to look for. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. I, I want to kill him. Can I please kill him? I mean, we're going to get him eventually, I feel like. It may not be for a while, but... California Fire and Life. <sighs> this is... We're getting into the depth of things now. We haven't really done much in this first 13 minutes again. Alright. Keep I'm talking. just going up to my office party. Gotta check over some files. Take the elevator. First door on the right when you come out. You know the way, Kelso. Should I even take the risk of the elevator? I feel like a t terrible decision. Suppose the security guard tells you where your office is. So, Curtis, what is it you don't want me to see? Uh, that's gonna be hard. We send. Wait. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west.
There's got to be more in these files. That doesn't even make sense. Insured replacement value for the house is $900. Current value of the house and land is $3,500. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? I have a Detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Not me. Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelsey? Uh. It's not your style. You were always a little more direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? A little chuck on the shoulder, shadow Semper Fi. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? I thought a PI might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. I'm sorry to hear that, Jack. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a feeble attempt at one, yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case, and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with Elysian Fields developments? They're in it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters. Stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that medal on Sugarloaf. The medal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. Freak! You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you can turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. It's a killer team. The Hall of Records is the place to start. 